Hi guys, it's Super B. I'm coming to you guys with another video. Today I'm going to be putting up this tent that I got on Amazon for baby girl. Just something that I'm going to surprise her with when she gets home. Can't wait to see her face. So guys, stay tuned. I'm just going to give you guys um, a little quick video on how I put this tent up together. So step one is complete. All I did was just inserted the poles instead of like the bottom little openings. And now I'm taking the A connectors. Yeah, I'm taking the A connectors, the A poles, and I'm putting them in the F connectors. These are the F connectors right here. And these are the A poles right here. So pretty much I'm gonna do the whole thing going around in a circle. Just inserting the holes. The poles and the holes. Stay tuned. Can't wait to the finish results. So guys, I'm pretty much just going in a circle. Don't mind the stuff in the background. It's, just, it's baby boy stuff. I haven't decided um, where I'm going to put it at yet. So I just have to see it in size room for now. So this is the next. A pole. Okay guys, as you can see now I have all of the A poles connected to the F connectors. So now I'm going to go to the next step. It's starting to look like it's going somewhere guys. Yeah, it's looking like it's going somewhere. Alright, now I'm just connecting um, it says you'll put the E connectors, the E connectors at the top of the A pole. So like I said before, these are the A poles. So these are the E connectors. I'm just gonna put them all the way around until I get to my very last one. So guys, what I'm doing right now, I'm just taking the um, the poles that you guys see right there, and I'm just pretty much lifting up the tent. And you'll see like these little pink, thick looking lines on the outside. So the only thing that I did was I opened the tent a little and I just put it over this. So like put it over there until I got to the top of the peak. So like that. And it's almost like you're just putting them in like a corner like. Since it does have like that little curvature right there like on this. So it's like you're just putting them in the corner of the tent. And I'll do this until I get all the way around. So basically guys, this is what it's looking like. So now what I'm gonna do is I had some poles left over from my A, A poles. So I'm just gonna connect these poles at the top of the tent. Cause right now it looks kind of flimsy not really sitting up like it should be so once I put these poles in at the very top then it should um, hold up a little better but it's coming along guys I can see a tent I can see a tent in the making I just have to connect the eight connectors and let's see what we get next so guys after I finish connecting the poles to the E connectors, this is what it's looking like. It's so big, I didn't even realize it was so big. About three kids can fit inside of this tent. And then this is like a little opening. So I'm going on to the next step. 
this up here, like if you can see like at the top, it's like flat right there. So I guess the next step is to put the poles or something at the top to get it to stand up straight. So yeah, I think I'm doing pretty good for my first tent. Comment down below how many tents you guys have put up for. Step says to connect two of these poles, what are what you call the C poles, to the G connector to make it longer. Insert the longer C pole into the E connector. Connect all six longer C poles together using the D connector at the top of the tent. Okay. So yeah, basically next guys, we're just going to be working on getting this top piece right there to go up. You connect the two um, C poles into the G connector, it should look something like this. And then what you're going to do is open the tent, well, slide your little sticky through the tent. And then there's going to be this piece right here. It's like a little pointy piece right there. like a little pointy piece right here you're just going to stick the, the bottom of the stick in the inside and once i put that stick in the inside it should look something like this so basically you can see like how it was laying flat underneath the tent but now it's like starting to go up so i'm pretty much going to do that same thing all the way around the tent and then there's one last piece to connect it to give it like that fine point but yeah, it's looking good, guys. Okay, so guys, this is how it's looking with just the, um, like I said, I connected two pieces to the C connector, or two of the C pieces, yeah, to the G connector to make it longer. And then I inserted all of the C poles into the E connectors all the way around. And then my last piece that I have to put on is this piece, and that, that will go at like the very top of the tent just to bring it out more coming along so this is how the tent is looking since I finished putting the stuff around it the last step that I have to do is like um I think this part is optional you can just take these right here these two strings and like basically like hold these I guess it's to hold these to kind of like tie it together I have to work on that part to figure out how does it go but basically I think that those strings are for you to like tie it together. And then of course you'll put these beautiful lights on. I have to get some batteries. So when I get the batteries, I'll be back to show you guys like the finished product. So guys, this is the finished product. So cute. Like pretty much with the lights, it's like little star lights. You can just pretty much like throw them over the tent. I don't think they have to be on there any special way. It's just of your liking. And then, like I said, about maybe three kids can fit inside of there. Three small children. Like maybe, I think this tent, like if it was, if the child is like maybe four, you can maybe fit four four-year-olds. But if it's like an eight-year-old, maybe only one. Oh, it's so nice and cute. This is the final product, guys. And like I said, this is like my very first time like ever building a tent or anything. So I think I did pretty good for my first time. It's really big and spacious. And um, I got this off Amazon. The original price was $50. But I found, um, I got it for actually $24 because I found someone that's on Instagram that looks for different deals. And when I got on Amazon, they had a coupon for like, I think it was $25 off or something like that. So yeah, really good deal. It's gonna match our room. So I'll let you guys see the finished room and product when I get done. Stay tuned. Okay, so guys, this is the finished look of Zai's room. So she has her little chair right here. 
her little ring light so she can take her cute little selfies. And then of course her tent. And then I also got her another um, bedroom set. And she already had that. I just need to get a piece for the top of her um, canopy. And then she has some other little lights behind the bed. And then these little decorations on her wall. So spoiled. I wish I had a room like this when I was a kid. So yeah, guys. I think I'm just going to add like maybe a few more polka dots. And then I'm going to try to find her like a, a piece for like the top of her um, canopy. Like a little tiara or crown or something at the very top. And then yeah. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you give this video a big fat thumbs up. Peace out. Get out of her room, Zoe. Get out.